Hey! Scandinavian horror movies became a part of international interest only several decades ago, even though it's obvious that their roots go far back to the beginning of the 20th century. So, besides such typical horrifying elements as ghosts, monsters, maniacs, slaughters and other stuff, Nordic horror is noted for a very slow, cold and almost phlegmatic type of storytelling combined with a very deep concentration on social problems because, you know, moral tortures are sometimes much more horrifying than physical ones. So, my name is Julia Sulenen and here is my compilation of the finest representatives of the Nordic horror. Released in 1921, this movie is a true pioneer not only for Swedish, but for all Scandinavian horror movies. Actually, it's not really a horror movie, it's more like a gloomy, dark fairy tale about a heavy drinker named David who tells his friends a legend. A legend that the last person passed away on the New Year Eve becomes a charioteer in the Phantom Chariot and helps other people to get to the other side after death. Ironically, David becomes personally involved in this legend. This creepy story has a flashback type of structure, which was an absolute innovation in the art of cinema back in those days. And as you may see, some visuals were pretty much inspiring and influential for horror creators of the future. This is the first time ever when one of the most canonic horror movie situations was depicted on screen. So, six friends arrive to hang out in a cottage somewhere in the middle of Norway, in the middle of nowhere. Later, it appears that some 100 years ago, a gruesome murder occurred on the bank of the lake nearby. This together with a couple of other circumstances, becomes a great reason to continue hanging out in this cottage in order to figure out what to do. What starts as a typical horror ends up being a nice detective story with lots of spooky moments. Psychological horror created by the greatest Ingmar Bergman shows us plain and isolated life of an artist named Johan and his devoted wife Alma. At first glance, Johan has some artist block or middle age crisis. But the far as story goes, the stranger people get involved in the story. The deeper we dive into Johan's mind, the creepier story becomes. Highly contrasted and very intense and delusional scenes make impression of endless and monochrome nightmare. Besides exciting plot and bloody details, this movie is noted for young and gorgeous Nikolai Koster Valdau, very awesome in his Danishness and Danish in his awesomeness. Playing a student who looks for a side job and finds himself as a night watcher in the morgue. Rather soon the body of a victim of a serial killer is delivered there, then suddenly an alarm signal rings to inform about someone's awakening. All these things definitely get on poor students' nerves. Yet soothing pills won't help, as there is something more to come. Very well-balanced movie that contains horror, dynamic detective intensity and humor. Needless to say that Hollywood remake wasn't so well-balanced, so if you are going to watch, watch the original. You know, these days a lot of successful Scandinavian movies receive their Hollywood remakes. And by far the most successful movie released in Scandinavian country is Swedish vampire horror Let the Right One In. This is a story about the love of a teenage boy and a vampire girl, and I know that it sounds rather Twilight-ish, however, that's definitely not so. She's not, a, she's not even a girl. 
This slow and existential motion picture introduces us to the devastating and bottomless loneliness of the main character, 12-year-old Oscar, whose divorced parents don't really care about him, who has no friends, and who is harshly bullied at school. But everything changes when he makes friends with a new neighbor, a strange girl named Ellie, who can walk bare feet on the snow and never gets cold. Soon after her arrival, people start dying in that area. In the atmosphere of total mundane unhappiness covered by snow, the pure and sincere love of two lonely and weird teens seems like the only ray of light in the story, bloody ray of light. This is a nice Danish movie about a young teacher named Cecily who moves to a new house with her husband and starts working in a new school. She used to have mental health problems and living in this house seems to bring old illness back. After she almost drowns in a bath of hot water but gets frostbites, her husband thinks that her disease has gone too far. This film shows us all palette of anxiety and fear and tells how important it is to have at least one person who believes you. The situation represented in the movie could really become the dream come true for Tim Burton's Jack the Pumpkin King, cause on contrary with the title, this movie is mostly about nightmare than about Christmas. So, two kids occasionally figure out that a group of foreign diggers is about to dig out something from the frozen ground. Something that appears to be Santa Claus, but not that cute red-coated fellow with a beard from the Coca-Cola advert, but a horrible, gruesome, mythological creature. You know, in Finnish language Santa Claus is called Yolupuki, and Yolupuki is translated like a Christmas goat. And Christmas goat is not 100% positive guy, as many people consider. It's something like Krampus, I must say. So, when Christmas is in the doorway, it appears that someone killed all deers around, and the group of diggers mysteriously disappeared. It becomes obvious that kids are not safe, too creepy and hilarious movie that truthfully depicts the realities of life in the very north. This Norwegian movie is a combination of fatalistic drama and a rampage of Nordic mythology, wrapped in the shape of a documentary, filmed by three friends highly concerned about the killing of bears in the forests. Hunter named Hans, whom they accuse of these killings, appears to be not a bear, but a troll hunter. Yeah, trolls are real, they are vastly spread in some areas of Norway, while government structures manage to hide this fact from the citizens. This so-called found footage horror looks especially cool in the moments of escaping from trolls, cause the first person view in these scenes turns the movie into a real attraction. In 60s Finland was shaken by a dreadful slaughter on a lake named Bodom. And I'm not retelling you a movie plot right now, this was a real thing. And the more curious you might become as I say that this massacre remains a mystery even nowadays, as the killer still hasn't been caught. Lake Bottom doesn't recreate events from the past, as this is author's modern fantasy based on the old story. The movie starts like the most traditional slasher ever, yet a number of plot twists really distinguish Lake Bottom from all the other horrors about teenagers being killed on fresh air. So that's the brief compilation. Of course, these are not the only horror movies released in Scandinavia. So stay tuned. This was... <laughs>